Hi guys, this is Ryan, and I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your RX AMD cards. Um, a little bit to do with software, so we'll get into it right now. Okay guys, first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to amd.com. And we're going to go to download and support. You're going to go to the graphics. You want the drivers. And you're going to select your specific card. Mine is the RX 6600 XT. You're going to hit submit. It's going to ask you what edition, Windows 10 or 11. You're going to want to download the latest one. And you'll get this download folder. Should finish up any time now. Once that's done, you're going to want to open it up. minimize that should be opening soon you're going to want to allow this app to make changes to your device and mine's already installed so I'm not going to go ahead and click install alright guys now that we're in the adrenaline software we're going to be looking at the performance tab and tuning uh, the first thing you're going to see is your CPU um, if you have an X processor you're not going to want to overclock this CPU. It's already overclocked to its max. Um, there are videos to show you how to overclock your CPU if it's not an X processor. So we're just going to skip that and we're going to go down to the GPU. Uh, most important thing, these are my settings. Um, you're going to want to play with it a little bit just to see what you can get. Um, the power tuning is the most important. I have mine set to enabled, and I have mine set all the way to 20. Uh, the reason of this is you're going to want to give your GPU enough power to do everything it needs to do. Um, you may have to adjust this, maybe go to 18 if your power supply can't handle max settings. Um, for the most part, I just leave mine set at max power. For the GPU tuning, I have this enabled, advanced control enabled. Um, pretty much what I did was I saw what the overclock GPU settings were, and I just set it to that for the max frequency. The minimum frequency, I went ahead and put 2000. It's 2006, but I want my GPU processor to be running at a minimum frequency of 2000 and a max frequency of what the overclock GPU settings would be. So it's got optimal power running at all times. You don't have the GPU slowing down and revving up too much and that could cause some stuttering in games. Another thing I did uh, to maximize the power settings was I undervolted the GPU just a little bit. Um, it's usually maxed out all the way up here so I tone that down to 1100 and if you can't get the slider to fix you can always type in the number now, once that's set I go to my VRAM tuning enable and enable advanced controls I like to have mine running at 2300 megahertz and if you run it at 2300, you're not getting full 2300, so 2312 should get you the max megahertz. Uh, then you're just going to go to apply changes. Uh, fan tuning, you can turn that off or on. I don't find it makes that much of a difference because it's going to speed up to compensate to keep your GPU cool. Uh, once you do all that, you just want to run a quick stress test. And if it does reboot, it means you can't run these settings. You're not going to hurt your system. So just go ahead and hit start. And you're going to see it's going to be revving up. And I'm just going to let this play out for the next 60 seconds. And you're going to see that I'm getting 2300 megahertz on the 
VRAM clock speed because I set that to 2312. The junction temperature is staying below 70 degrees. That's the temperature right outside of your GPU chip. And the current temperature inside is 59 degrees, so it's pretty cool in there. Uh, power consumption, you can see I'm pretty steady, 2650 megahertz. Pretty steady with the VRAM. And power consumption is only 94 watts. So pretty consistent here, pretty good, uh, solid, no dips. So I'll be finishing up in a second. And you can see stress test completed. Now, if you don't get a completed stress test, just come back to your power tuning. If it crashes, you may have to turn this down to 18. But you just want to make sure you're giving your GPU enough power to run at whatever stress you're putting on the machine. So, once you're done, you want to just go ahead and click Apply Changes. And just in case your PC resets, you don't want to have to do this all over again. So click Save Profile. Just, I have it as Save 1. Click Save. And if you do have a crash at any point in time or just have to reset your computer, restart, it will default to the default settings. So you can just come back in here and load your profile click it, open it, and it's going to put you back at the settings. So with these settings, I'm able to play 1440p um, any game that I throw at it. Warzone 2, um, Fortnite, just anything I want to play. 1440p max settings. Uh, I do turn shadows off because I find that's a big killer in frames per game. So that's about it pretty easy just if you know what you're doing so hey guys thanks for watching I'll be doing more videos on tech tips um, video game settings and just general how-to on things I'm enjoying at the time so if you did enjoy this video please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see y'all next time